order uh, a little bit to invite from the cycling office in the city of Mississauga, Jacqueline Hayward Gulacki. And Jacqueline is in fact the manager of the cycling office, and she has been there since its inception in 2011, and she has a profoundly challenging job, which is completing a significant number of bikeways in the city of Mississauga. And she has been working in sustainable transportation and transportation demand management in that field for many years. And she also has experience with Smart Cities Association, Solution Pro, and has also been involved in the Transportation Management Association in Ontario. She is also a member of the Association for Commuter Transportation Canada, as well as the Association of Pedestrian and Bicycle Professionals. Please join me in welcoming Jacqueline. Congestion is 
developing a cycling master plan, it was taking that historical investment in walking and cycling infrastructure and trails and thinking about cycling as a, as a mode of transportation for the first time. So very much similar to the Toronto Bike Plan back in, um, back in 2001, our cycling master plan identified cycling um, infrastructure in terms of a network of routes, um, and it identified policies we need to implement and adopting a safety first approach to cycling. But key point was that the culture of cycling as an everyday activity was something we wanted to change. Uh, I'd, like to, um, I'd like to state that we want to really change perception of who bikes in Mississauga, where they're biking to, and why they're biking. So that resulted in this, um, what our plan is, is a, a plan to build up to 900 kilometers of routes over the next 20 years. It's quite ambitious, and it's going to take us some time to get there. We're going to include primary routes and arterials in the form of bike lanes and multi-use trails, and then some secondary routes in the local areas, as well as more of those off-road multi-use trails to make the connection. Our achievements so far have been that um, in the first two years of the plan, we built about 45 kilometers of new cycling infrastructure under the new cycling office that I lead. Um, and this year, we built another 12, so close to 70 kilometers in the last two years of new cycling infrastructure, mostly multi-use trails and bike lanes, and I'll, and I'll get to that about our approaches. So I just wanted to give you some of the context of where I'm coming from. In terms of the, um, the six approaches I'm going to speak to, the first of which is multi-use trails among arterials. Um, we think of multi-use trails as being more of an off-road trail scenario, but we've used, and Toronto's used them as well on Edwin with the city of Toronto to make that connection at the Edmonton um, our, our border road between the um, between the Toronto side and the Mississauga side. But what we've been building is a shared use path in those places where we don't have sidewalks along our trail roads instead of a sidewalk or in addition to a sidewalk where there already is one depending on the, the right of way width. Um, this is appropriate when there are large blocks with limited driveway accesses in reverse lots. So the true suburban suburban area. Um, and there are challenges at, at signalized intersections and driveways, so uh, treating those appropriately is critical. So in this case, um, on these two uh, pictures, we're showing a new cross drive treatment, which Toronto's used with some of the hydro corridor trail signal crossings, where you're marking the fact that cyclists are going to be crossing here in two directions. It's an important safety consideration for drivers who are not expecting um, a cyclist to be coming from either direction along the road, um, in the opposite direction to the direction they're traveling, So this 
Bye.